This was very exciting. We got to learn a little bit more uh, about what's going to be going on on this series. And in your case especially, you know, this is a character people know a bit about where he's going to end up, but we yeah. don't know how he gets there. Um, so what was it like kind of stepping into these shoes and having, having like a, a, an end point uh, kind of to base some of those character decisions on? Yeah, I kind of, there's a, definitely a weight of expectation knowing where your character's going, but I kind of wanted, the beauty of this show is you're able to go all the way back and start from the beginning. So I didn't want to think about the end. I wanted to make this legendary Tolkien character human, someone that you could see yourself in. And he's a complex young guy with a strenuous relationship with his father. Fathers and sons, always tough. Uh, and he's trying to figure himself out. He's at a bit of a crossroads. He wants to uh, fulfill his father's dream, but also has his own dream. And he doesn't quite know what it is yet. And so you see this deep, yearning, romantic connection to the other, you know, to the horizon. And he's just uh, traversing that world. Is there a comparison at some point to, um, like, Pacino in The Godfather as, as far as the storyline goes? Okay, so it's Michael Corleone in The yes, Godfather. Yes, yes, not... Now, well, listen, do you want... I mean, we could make it also. But <laughs> yeah. you to Al Pacino, not yeah. just Michael Cor Corleone. Yeah, so it's a, it's, it's a big um, weight of expectation rises again. If I, can, if I can do what he does, I'll be very impressed. Uh, but again, what an amazing character to, to portray, someone who has a journey uh, and a depth um, that kind of ties in a lot of the season. And... I feel very privileged and honored, and I hope I do the, the I, I do I do the right thing, you know. <laughs> well, this this show is already iconic one because of the source material, but also it is one of the most expensive series in television history. Um, so what would you say is the most elaborate or ornate or expensive parts of your character's identity? Uh, he likes uh, he works on a ship, and these ships that, that that Amazon have built are huge. And the attention to detail is next level. I mean, even the railing, the floor, uh, it's all built. And, you know, you have amazing people coming together to, to create the show. And we're so proud of it. We put a lot of love and, and time into it in New Zealand, away from home and family, that we wanted to, to really kind of we wanted to bring it home, you know? I feel like the fans are definitely watching with a fine tooth comb, but also with a lot of excitement. You know, that, that, that I guess, is my last question to you, is that, you know, kind of that responsibility to the fans of playing a character where they, they, they think they know a lot. So, you know, that attention to detail when it comes to the backstory and things like that. How, how did you feel having to carry that part out where you're knowing they're, oh, they might have uh, re different reactions to certain parts of the character? Well, I mean, definitely um, people... Tolkien has connected with people because they have, because it's like these stories about good and evil, light and dark, hope. You know, that's why I connected to the stories myself. Is that uh, whenever I felt down, I'd, I put, you know, Lord of the Rings on. I'd read the books and 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 find that there's a way out of it. You know, and people have a sense of ownership. They have a connection to it. So all we had to do is create human characters that people can connect with. And then you see them go on these crazy elaborate journeys and we want to take you along with us.